Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. And we're back on Delp Snail's 40s World featuring the family affair. Yes, 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 yes. I just had to come in and say, mm, it's been one year now since Greg has passed. So, we taking all hoes off of Nene. We're we going to go in on her when she's doing good. And we're going to go in on her when she's doing bad. But it seems like, I don't care what Michelle, atl is saying over there. This woman don't got some money, okay? She don't got some money. She don't got some money. And she got some money. Now, I respect Michelle, they tell and she, she uh, kind of, like, makes me laugh a little bit here and there. But <laughs> I don't care what she say. That woman has got money. And I wouldn't be too surprised if she go back and put Mr. Shaba Man Shaba in a mansion. I bet she go and buy the highest price something instead of saving that money and living off of it. Because... I just don't see it for her anymore in the entertainment business. I really don't. Her net worth has increased since uh, was it August in the first part of September. And now she has a nerd to bring out her, uh, what do you call it, ladies of excellence. How many, how many times have I been asking, whatever happened to the ladies of excellence? Whatever happened to them being a very influential part of society Social club in Atlanta. Where they were? Where they at? Now she's going to bring them. Talking about she going to Miami. Now, um, from my understanding, uh, Peter was in some trouble, financial trouble, with one of his bars down there, bar ones. And she's just going to take care of this man. Let's just go on and see it and say it for what it really is. She's going to take care of that man. And he's going to ask her for a loan, uh, I'm pretty sure, because she can't keep her mouth closed. She can't keep her mouth closed. She can't keep her mouth closed. And... Somebody other than Nene knows the whole history of what Bravo Entertainment, uh, truly original entertainment, settled with her. Because as you can see, she ain't saying nothing, is she? She ain't saying a jack of bean stalk about anything regarding Bravo television, okay? Everything is crispy, cleaned up on her social media platform, and she's gone into the sunset with this said man. I'm like, whoo, boy, oh boy, oh boy. But it is what it is. She has come back. She's posting on her social media. And she wants to have a party with the ladies of excellence. I'm like, Nitty, did you go and recruit some people again? Did you go and recruit some people again? Because these same women should have been for you when you lost Greg. These same women should have been for you when they were attacking you hell of a lot on the internet. Uh, with the blacklisting, blackball, all that shit going on. These same women should have helped you tell you don't get messed up with no married man girl that's the oldest trick in the book ain't nothing new under the sun same shit different day okay but where were they where were they the women of excellence crew that's what i'm talking about now she wants to uh, travel and show off and showcase shabba man shabba and they don't give a hell about her they don't give a hell of a beans about nene and if Nene don't see this and she don't know this, then God help her, okay? She's going to fly through that money. And ain't nobody going to be sitting up there trying to employ her. And she's going to be destitute, probably like her oldest son that she never talks about. I mean, never talks about. You, you, you would think that Brent is her own child, okay? I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. Because she's fin too far. All right, on back down that rabbit hole where this time she might not come out. That's all I got to say. I ain't got nothing else to say about that. Okay? But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to come and do a little short feature on I See Nene moving again. I see her trying to get her name back out there. But her name is Mud, in a sense. It's Mud. It's stuck in the mud. Uh, Very deep. You can't even pull it out with a, 
uh, uh, pulley or, 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 or we call it a truck pulling it with its chain equipment. She stuck. She stuck. She stuck. She stuck. She stuck. And her only friend at this uh, point in time is probably is Portia, because Portia is stuck. She stuck. She stuck. She stuck. She stuck. Because if you really think Bravo Entertainment gonna give her five million dollars, guess what? I got some land I need to sell you in Timbuktu. It's 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 a pretty uh, large area and acreage over there is where i'm gonna take you okay and i'm only gonna charge you mm, what five million that's all i'm going to charge you so see see how ridiculous that is it's just what i told you that's just how ridiculous it is when you hear uh people taking up for uh portia and saying she's got a five million dollar return where they gonna get that money from remember we still got the highest highest paid person on Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's Candy. And I'm sure Kenya comes somewhere closer. Uh, and then you got the the other newbies, because we know Sheree sure ain't getting that much money. And uh, I, we don't really need her back on the show, because she's not going to have a storyline. Her whole thing with, uh, what do you call it? She buys Sheree Don't Pay is still there, and she still ain't got nothing going on. And we don't want to hear anything about She Buys Sheree. We buried her in season 14. We don't want to hear about it. Hell, I don't want to hear about it, okay? I want to hear about it. And then, um, let me see. <sighs> what else can we say? We can't say too much more about the uh, cast members because all of them are coming back for season 15. I thought we would get a little something, something, you know, or, or added person to the, to the mix, you know, but... I guess it's going to be them again, and Sheree going to uh, act a fool, be a bone collector, and have amnesia. Uh, Marlo's going to come back being, being the villain uh, of the show, and uh, <laughs> her, and Kenya, uh, her Kenya and Candy probably bump heads a lot, which that, that storyline is getting very old, and she is using it to keep herself uh, glowing with her peach, Minnie Marlo. Don't want to hear anything about her grand, I'm not going to say grandkids, her nephews and their comings and goings because she just ain't set up right in the head. Marlo's just not set up right in her head. But we have to uh, tell her, shout out to her getting a Netflix deal for them to showcase her Lay Archives jewelry that she's renting. Uh, but we were, we were, I just got off the subject. We were talking about Nene. I, I forgot. I wasn't doing a Real Housewives of Atlanta th uh, review. <laughs> Though I will be in about another, what, two hours. I might go on and do it tonight when I see it. Hopefully it'll give me some. Because if it's not, girl, that video will be so short. It'll probably be just three minutes. You know what I'm saying? Four minutes, five minutes, seven minutes to tops, okay? We ain't even going to give it 10 minutes worth of love if it didn't give us anything. But yes, Nene, Nene, Nene is still... She probably done paid off. I ain't heard nothing about the lawsuit either, about his wife suing her, you know, because <coughs> she felt like she stole her husband from her and everything that comes and goes with that. Come on, JJ. And, um, uh, I don't know, Nene buying... Uh, what do you call it? Nene's buying men. She's buying uh, a club or, or friendships, especially with the women's of excellence. She, she need them again. And I'm pretty sure she had to uh, regroup some more people, recruit some more people uh, to get this lie going, uh, going along, you know. But we ain't checking for Nene in the excellence club. We're really not. But we do have some some um, some uh, I, well not ideas. We have some uh, plans to check on her as she go along seeing what she's spending when though it's no business of ours but we know we knows as hell okay we'll report what we see you know be it good or be it bad uh it's still commentary but yeah we'll be still watching it and see if she ever get married to this man okay but i'm pretty sure she don't pay it off his wife and they're just trying to keep a hush hush because now he's like getting all into nini you know he's you know pulling her closer but i i just can't see it for the man he's still fake foolish fraudulent faker activity going on when it comes to that man and of course if you can milk off somebody giving you this that and the third and taking you on lavish trips and you picking up the tab all the time i guess you will stay with that person okay but Every dog has its day. Every person has their karma. 
and that's for sure but that's all i got on this video guys so i just wanted to come by drop down and say nene done started her shit again with that excellence club women of excellence club that we know don't exist until she wants them and, and, and wants to uh parade herself as she the shit out there well nene i'm telling you girl if you live to be a good old ripe age to the 90s or whatever you're gonna need that money girl and i hope you're investing in social security so you can get that check as well but the, the how you finna roll and, and spend money and and love on the, these crazy people that you got uh are running with that i don't don't want only don't want one thing wait a minute they don't want nothing from you but one thing, and that's to use you up. And if you allow that, shame on you, Nene, shame on you. Ain't nobody going to be looking at you. You ain't going to get no second chance to say, ooh, Bravo did this, Bravo did that. And if we do hear it coming out, we know you don't spend just as much as your money that they gave you. You don't pretty much spent it up on foolishness. But anyway, that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all on the next video. And don't forget to subscribe and share my videos. And if you don't want to do that, hell, just subscribe and like the video. How about that? Either or. Either or. I'll take either or. Okay? Now I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.